I love this about Red Path. He just always hits up at the ball carrier. Always offering something different, although the turnover, the skill, not fantastic. Menzel's out the back. Here comes Dangerfield. It was this ground where he had that magnificent game last week and found Menzel. Menzel lines up. Good game for him last week. Comes in no problems at all. So Geelong with the first goal of the game. And he wants to go. Not confident of the journey. High footy over the back here. Looking for Menzel. Did well against Biggs. So four goals last week for Menzel. An opportunity for two early, one, two early ones tonight. Comes in, nails it. Got a couple Geelong. Two to Menzel. And they get it into this corridor. They look to go. And why not? This is Zach Smith's ball if he wanted it. Boy, he let Dangerfield come from the side. Dangerfield, 48, no problems. Three goals here in the early stages for the Cats. Looking dangerous again here, the Cats. Rough head, Selwood on the left, swings around. It's that easy for a man that talented. His hand's dirty. So too does Dangerfield. Wrapped up at ground level. Did he have it pinned to him? He might get hold of the ball here, Suckling. The footy, Played it pretty well there, Matt Suckling. Hold there, please. Play on. The umpire almost didn't want to deliver hey. that news there. Razor Ray, short ball in, and good early opportunity here for Picken. For Picken. Thank you. And that'll bend back nicely. Has it got the legs? Yes, it has. So the Dogs get their first goal in the first minute of the second quarter. This won't be advantage, shouldn't be. The umpire's paid it. Dangerfield rips it away from Daniel. About driving ball, great kick. Hawkins, sensational play. Electric stuff from Dangerfield. Hawkins very unselfishly giving it off to Selwood as well. Just the 16th disposal for him. Kick on the way, looks pretty good as well. So the margin out to 31. Corey Enright, who came 3.21 tonight, joins Teddy Witten, Stewie Lowe and Tyson Edwards on the all-time games played list. Ball inside 50, McCarthy can handball to Motlock if he wanted. He plays on by going off the mark accidentally. Little handball to Hawkins. Hawkins out wide. Caddy eventually got it to Motlock, who should have got it in the first place. Lost all their structure up in the Ford 50 at the moment. That's why they're having to muck around with it here. They've got nothing to go to. Yeah, loose man back was Henderson and now Suckman you can see he looks up and there's nothing on it this is where they're getting punished badly on the turnover so Stanley he streams inside 50 that's a really good kick from Bruce Stanley found Motlock it's just one of those nights where the Cats look there's no they're going to go on and dominate got pretty close to the man on the mark Stevie Motlock but no problems at all there's five goals in a row and a couple to Stevie Told to go. Nice ball to Liver. Liver to Suckling. Suckling can go all the way here. Easy distance from him. 55. Good looking ball. Goal. Suckling's first goal. So the Dogs are winning this quarter though. They really need some consecutive goals. Look at Bartell sensing a good opportunity. Here's a clever hammer back to Hawkins and don't argue. And Tom Hawkins with power and strength. So the dogs will set up through the midfield once again. Bonham Pally, he was clobbered. Pick it over the top to Wallace. Wallace got rid of it. Here they go, Campbell. Thought about the handball back to Daniel. Daniel go long to John. John, John, John. Pretty easy kick. Dogs have got three goals to one in the quarter. Back to 34 points. Got all parts of his game. He defends well. He can go forward and kick goals. Oh, that tick's going to be turned over. So. All of a sudden, Mitch Wallace gets a look at three goals in a row. He could just hit McRae with a little low one. He'll just, he's going to lob this, isn't he? Let's have a look. So he gets to 50. And yep, he's punched he's got it. it. And got yep. a big piece of it. Three goals in a row to the Dogs. And the margin is back to 28 points. Takes its toll in the last quarter. Hunter, loose one out the back here. Hunter's going to get the opportunity to drive it long. Dixon there trying to nudge his man under the footy pick and will keep it alive. Yeah. He does. They gave up on it. Oh, still right it. for Nada. Pickens kicked the ripper. They gave up on it. The Cats. Was it out of bounds? Oh, boy. Hang on. 
what's happened. I think it's out of bounds. It is. Boy, oh boy. Didn't have the football. Oh, you can hear the umpire, Ray Chamberlain. Didn't have the footy. Free kick to lock. Clear explanation there. That's all you want as a player. Over the back. Here's an opportunity. Gregson found Hawkins. He can go all the way. And this is going to take some off out of the dogs. You know all too well. Used to beat sides up in the early parts of games, get a big enough lead, and never really be troubled for the rest of the match. Change of field from the boundary line, close for home. No, Patty. No, Patty. Come on, Patty. Beautiful handball out the back door. Dangerfield and Selwood combining. Another launching handball there to Hawkins on the Motlop. Heard uh, Dangerfield out the back, takes on Suckling, got the handball to Gregson, was hoping for it back, little tip into the goal square. Menzel gets another one, and he has kicked four tonight. They are in a dynamic position to attack. Long ball inside 50. Hawkins, juggling Mark, got it. Tom Hawkins lines up for goal here, and that will... Go straight through the middle. So a 51 point lead. Don't miss access all areas every Monday on afl.com.au.